Comparing the capabilities of the Su-35 and the F-15X, the designs notably differ because the former was designed to be Russia's prime frontline air superiority fighter, surpassed only by elite MiG-31 BSM interceptors and years later by the Su-57 fighter which will enter service in meaningful numbers for years to come. While the F-15X is set to be acquired in large numbers, with 114 planned, these are primarily intended to support larger fleets of F-35 and F-22 stealth fighters and upcoming sixth-generation jets which will replace the Raptor such as the penetrating counter-air fighter and air dominance fighter. Nevertheless with Russia proliferating the Su-35 acquiring it in large numbers, and the F-15X itself potentially set to be sold abroad, the possibility remains that the two aircraft could go head-to-head -head despite their different roles, reported MilitaryWatchMagazine.com. In visual range combat the Su-35 benefits from a number of considerable advantages, including a far more maneuverable airframe inherited from the original flanker and enhanced with three-dimensional thrust vectoring engines. The F-15X lacks any thrust vectoring capabilities whatsoever, and while the original F-15 was designed to engage enemy fighters at all ranges the F-15X is more heavily tailored towards beyond visual range combat. While the Su-27 originally included an infrared search and tracking system, such features represent a much newer addition to the F-15 design and partly even the odds at close ranges by allowing it to operate without a radar signature as the flanker can. In beyond visual range combat the Su-35 benefits from superior situational awareness due to its multiple sensors and ability to detect targets in a far wider arc, where the Eagle much like the Raptor has its field of vision more restricted. The flanker also benefits from a smaller radar cross-section due to the limited stealth technologies applied, and while stealth modifications for the F-15 design have been developed these have not been applied to the F-15X. The F-15X benefits from a far larger payload of missiles with its 22 aim 120 d missiles having 180 km ranges. The platform is also a leading candidate to deploy the upcoming AIM-260 air-to-air missile, although this missile is still in early development stages. While the Su-35 currently deploys just 14 missiles, it benefits from longer engagements ranges and from access to some unique missile technologies. The platform's R-27 and R-77 missiles remain considerably less capable than the newer AIM-120D, but fighters can also deploy longer-ranged R-37M which have a hypersonic speed of Mach 6 which reduces an adversary's response time and a range of 400 km. The F-15X currently lacks access to an analogous platform missile, meaning the Su-35 will effectively have more than double the air-to-air -air engagement range. The Su-35 is also set to deploy the new K-77 missile, which has a 197 km range and unique active phased array antenna guidance systems that make it extremely difficult to evade even for highly maneuverable fighters operating near the limits of its range. Other beyond visual range munitions are currently in the works and will likely enter service around the same time as the AIM-260. Su-35 fighters deployed by China's People's Liberation Army Air Force may also potentially deploy a number of more advanced missiles including the PL-15 with a range of approximately 250 km and AESA radar guidance and upcoming PL-12D and PL-21 missiles with extreme ranges. The Su-35's high maneuverability notably allows it to partially compensate for its lower missile payload, and provides it with significantly greater survivability at range due to its better ability to evade enemy missiles through complex maneuvers. 
the F-15X will need to rely more heavily on electronic warfare systems to neutralize threats and could be particularly vulnerable to advanced missile types such as the K-77 and R-37M. The survivability of the Su-35 will likely decline in future however when the AIM-260 begins to enter service, with the missile reportedly intended to engage supermaneuverable fighters at extreme ranges in direct response to the proliferation of the flanker design and development of more advanced and survivable jets such as the Su-57. As both the flanker and the eagle have comparable speeds and altitudes, kinetic energy imparted onto missiles by both fighters is likely to be similar. Ultimately both Russia's Su-35 and America's F-15X represent state-of-the-art fighters which, alongside China's J-16 and J-11D, represent the most capable fourth-generation heavyweight fighters developed. Although less capable than their more costly and stealthier counterparts the Su-57 and F-22, the two designs are set to remain viable beyond the 2050s and are considerably superior to their predecessors which entered service during the Cold War. The aircraft are set to fly supporting missions alongside the most advanced next-generation platforms currently under development, the American Penetrating Counter-Air Fighter and Air Dominance Fighter and the Russian Su-57 and MiG-41. The balance of power in the skies is more likely to be decided by these more advanced upcoming aircraft which integrate sixth-generation technologies. Whether Russia or the United States will retain an edge in sixth-generation warfare remains uncertain, as does the way in which evolving missile technologies will affect the roles of the Su-35 and F-15.